everyone, it's me. So this week, we're doing another Eat This. God bless, my favorite. So if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you probably saw that I went to Amsterdam recently, which was wonderful, beautiful place. I had been there a few years ago, but it was just as pretty and cute as I remember it. Originally, I was gonna film while I was there and do like a mashed up vlog, but then I just didn't. You know, like I just got lazy. So when I was at the airport coming back home, I just grabbed like a bunch of stuff um, from one of like the airport shops. And really, let's be honest, I went for things that looked like they were possibly chocolate and that were also cheap. Because I am cheap. And sometimes airport chocolate is expensive. Like good God. Let's do an eat this Dutch edition. So without further ado, let's go. Now just a disclaimer, I don't know how Dutch these things are. We're just gonna, we're just gonna eat them anyway. Now first up, I saw a bunch of this Tony's Choco Lonely. Tony, why are you lonely? I feel you. So I got orange and I got green of Tony's Choco Lonely. This one says Caramel Zizoot. So I don't know what that means. I'm assuming caramel something. And this one says milk hazelnut, which I'm assuming might be milk hazelnut. I don't know. Anyway, the address for Tony, Tony, blah, blah, blah. the address for Tony's Choco Lonely is in Amsterdam. So I got to at least agree that this was made in Amsterdam, so it counts. Let's do the caramel zizut first, shall we? So far, so good. Oh my God. That is absolutely divine. It's like, it's a solid chocolate mass. And yet you've got these chunks of like hard caramel inside. It's, it really tastes like sea salt. You know how you get like that sea salt caramel? If anyone wants to Google that, go for it. I want to say it's sea salt caramel, but it's like crunchy caramel, which I really like. I hate caramel when it gets all up in your teeth. That is so good. Tony, you are on the right track. Now let's try milk hazelnut. I have high hopes for this one now. God bless you, Tony. I hope you're not lonely anymore because that is so good. So again, it's like a solid chocolate piece with like bits of hazelnut along the bottom. That is just wonderful. So for Tony's Choco Lonely, Caramel Zizoot and Hazelnut, I give these guys five out of five lonely nights. Just absolutely heartbreakingly good. Okay, we have a problem with the next one. We all know I'm an idiot, but this just demonstrates how much of an idiot. So when I was at the till paying for this chocolate, I saw this one that looked like chocolate mint. And I love me some chocolate mint. So I thought I'll throw that in there too. I didn't read any of this because I want it to be a surprise. However, I've just read this one. And it says, phaser mint. Okay, wonderful. And in fine print underneath it says, the famous Finnish mint. Finnish. The wrong damn country. So here's to all the Finns watching, all none of you, because nobody in Finland watches these videos. I'm going to try a phaser mint, which is not Dutch, but we're gonna go with it anyway. How beautiful. Finland, you've done well. You've done really well. These are basically, it says soft peppermint with the finest dark chocolate. So you basically got a dark chocolate cube with like liquidy peppermint stuff inside. So it's kind of like an after eight, but if you like pumped it full and it like got really fat. But otherwise it is really, really nice. Really like rich dark chocolate. I kind of want to eat this one as well, but God, that's good. For the phaser mint, I give this maybe three out of four fins. Pretty good. Not perfect, but wonderful. 
Now next up is this very crazy looking woman in this very blue bag. Now I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Who am I kidding? I'm going to try. Ziu Wees Room Boater Babylars. Sounds wonderful and very tasty. Yeah, it's just a big old bag of squares. So I don't know if this is maybe fudge or maybe it's a butterscotch or some sort of caramel square. Once I get into this bag, if ever, we'll find out. I just liked it because that woman looks absolutely crazy. Okay. I'm not really sure what that is. Oh, idiot. Old Dutch butterscotch. Not for me. Yeah, that's all right. Kind of reminds me like what my grandmother would have like in a big glass dish, a bunch of butterscotch and on a really hot day, some of them would like melt together. I'm gonna give the crazy Dutch lady two out of five plastic triangles. Finally, we have Drost Holland pastels. So these look like they're white and milk. They're like divided down the middle. What a wonderful idea. And also, they were cheap. That is not how I pictured it. Go back into that. I have high hopes for these. That is so good. They're basically like thicker buttons. The Cadbury buttons, which I also love, but like a thicker version. And you've got the white chocolate and the milk chocolate. That is so fantastic. Just one more. I'd have to give these Drost Holland Pastels four out of four buttons. Fantastic. So that is the chocolatey sweets that I brought back from Amsterdam. I would have to say, hmm, I really, really loved the caramel. I still think it's sea salt caramel Tony's fantastic with this as a close second pastels hanging out here then we've got our Finnish phaser mint and then um, well behind that we've got the crazy blue Dutch lady just I don't really like those like hard candy type butterscotch things so no offense to you lady I'm sure you make a wonderful product but you just don't make the cut and finish mint chocolate comes before you so these fantastic next time you're in Amsterdam make sure to check them out and I mean just eat the food there was so good as always thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye